Hi everybody, it's Mirav, and today I'm going to teach you how to add your first survey. The first thing we need to do is add a survey, then a page, at least one page, and then some questions in that order. So let's start with surveys. We're going to add one survey. We're going to click on New. We're going to give it a title, and the title is going to show on the top of the survey. My first survey. Here you can enter a description, you don't have to. Please take the time to fill out my first survey. On image tab you can choose which image is going to show on top. We're just going to choose something that I already have here. On handling tab you can choose if you want to show the survey result at the end or not. I'm going to choose yes. And do I want to send an email to a person with the content of the survey? I'm going to choose yes. I can also choose a global which means it's going to take the settings from the general settings here. I'm going to choose yes and I'm going to enter my email address. On publishing tab I can choose if I want to publish it, yes. Do I want to show the results on the module results? I want to say yes, because we remember we have a module result. The access level, sh I want to say public. The created date, publishing, I want to leave it as it is. Here on the pop-up uh, tab, I can choose do I want to show a pop-up invitation or no. I'm going to say no for now. And let's see what is the finishing tab. What should be the title of the page, the finishing page? I'm going to say thank you. You can enter any description here for that thank you page. And you can choose if you want to redirect the, the page or not. If yes, you can choose uh, to redirect to a certain URL. I'm going to choose to redirect to ijumla.com. And I'm going to choose here to enter a different redirection message. Let's say redirecting to ijumla.com. Okay, I'm done with the settings of this survey. Okay, so now we have our first survey and now we need to add some pages to that survey. So let's click on new. We are in the pages manager. Let's say our first page is about demographics. The survey name, of course, it's my first survey. Show title and say no. We don't have to enter anything in the description unless we want to, or in the images. Publishing, we choose yes. Okay, that was easy. Let's add one more page. We call it the uh, general questions already choosing the right survey. Okay, save. And the last page I want to add is lifestyle. Okay, so now that we have the pages, now we can start adding questions. I'm going to click on you.
Okay, the survey is already selected. Page name, I'm going to choose demographics. And here I have to choose what kind of a questions, uh, uh, question I want to ask. I have many, many types. Um, I want to say my first question would be gender. Here I can enter the description of uh, the question, but because it's a simple question, I'm not going to enter in the description here. Do I want it to be required? Yes. Randomized answer, it's not necessary here. So what do I want to choose here? Let's see. Uh, one answer, obviously. Is it vertical or horizontal? I'm going to choose horizontal because it's just two answers. And I'm going to enter the answer, the possible answers here. Female. Male. And do I want to publish it? Yes. Shown results? Yes. Perfect. Let's save this first question. I'm going to add another question for demographics. Age. Actually, age range. Is it required? Yes. I don't want to randomize this one. This time I'm going to choose a menu because I'm going to have more options. I'm going to choose uh, under 18, 19 to 30, 30 to 50, over 50. I'm sure you can come up with something better than this, but for now it will do. Do I have other answer? No, because it pretty much covers everything. Published? Yes. Okay. Save. Okay, now, before we continue, let's just go ahead and check, uh, try to see a preview of this uh, survey. I'm going to click on surveys. And I'm going to click on preview. As you can see, I can see my server very well. I can see the description, the name, the photo, the two questions that I have. I can see that they are mandatory. And here it is, the age range that we just put in here. And okay, so the preview is successful. Let's go back and finishing our survey. Let's add another, let's add some questions to the other pages. This time I'm going to choose general questions. And I'm going to ask here if how many how many hours you spend on the internet? And here I can randomize the questions, the answers, and I can choose, see menu, oh, per day, zero, one to two hours, two to four hours, four to six hours, over six. Does it have under answer? No. Publishing? Yes. Okay. Okay, in the last page, we want to add one question to the last page as well. Of course, you guys are going to have to really think about which questions and which pages you want to create before you even start your survey. 
this is just on the fly kind of survey that is not very you know well thought of which is not the right way to do it okay lifestyle how many times we go on vacation per year I'm going to say required I'm not going to randomize it and let's just choose horizontal this time nope vertical never once twice three times more than three okay and I'm gonna save it okay now before you publish the survey on your site you want to make sure that it's working properly so we're going to do one more preview to make sure so here we are in our survey manager again and we're going to click preview male female I'm going to choose 30 to 50 how many hours spent on the internet over 6 how many hours spent uh oh why are they trying twice I'm not sure but we're going to check that later how many times you go on vacation per year twice now let's see what happened this is our last page redirecting to ijumla.com alrighty okay that worked okay so now that we have uh, the survey uh, working we're gonna we, we are now can, can edit to our site so we're gonna click on survey links and we're just gonna copy this URL here and we go to go, we're going to go to menu choose the menu that we want to edit to and edit as a URL that's that's one way to do this I'm going to call it external link that's just the easiest way to do this but there's other ways as well We're going to save it. And we're going to look on the front end. We're going to refresh. And here is our link. So let's see what happens here. Now the great thing about Ijuma Survey is that it's completely a part of your of your template, of your uh, of your site, it's not something external. And it's working just the way it's supposed to work. We just need to remove this question. I think it's because I had a little bit of a ser uh, of a, a server a temporary problem. It's it, and I clicked the, the button twice, so it created the question twice. So we just have to remove it, and we're done. Our survey is ready to go. Thank you for watching.